What's up, Right Club people? <coughs> I just woke up, so my voice is a little bit... Yeah. And I just took a shower, so my hair is a little bit... Yeah. It's two days into NaNoWriMo, and since I made this on Halloween, I don't have any words done. Anyways, uh, back to the Right Club and the writing topics. So the first topic is why I write. Um, I write because it's something I want to do in life. It gives me a sense of purpose as a person. And also, writing helps me connect with people in the most efficient way language can help me connect to people. Writing processes, I don't really have a writing process, not really a really strict one, but generally, I just write. I don't write on a paper or pencil, but I write on a, um, a laptop or something because usually I type faster than I write and my brain is so full of ideas. I tend to try to write till the very end of my story and usually during my writing process I try to go back to my um, outline because that's the skeleton of my story arc. So I try to abide by it and listen to it and eventually I will get to the end of the story. And also I try to go back to the books I have read that have inspired me to write and I see how they did certain scenes that I was confused about ending or beginning or something and they have a lot of insight. Inspirations! It's kind of pathetic but I stare at walls for inspiration. When your mind is full of ideas then it's easier to stare at something that's not full of ideas in order to keep your ideas developing and and all that stuff, not conflicting with other things that do have ideas, if you get my drift. Fun fact, during a tutoring session I told the 2T, which is a person that comes in for a tutoring session, that one way to help her write was to stare at a wall, and she looked at me like I was crazy. And reading books definitely helps with the inspiration, because reading books helps you to think that it could be done. You get to that stage once you read enough books that you realize these are real people writing these books and revising them and making them into these masterpieces. Having books around you serves as a sort of cheerleader. If I'm really, really out of ideas, I usually try to write something different for a little while. Eventually I'll give up because it, do it doesn't, it it's just not as developed as your original idea. So you will go back to your original idea because of that. So. Those are all my tips. I don't have really any more. Writing environment. Anywhere that I'm... that no one will bother me. Usually I go to the library or something or Starbucks and then I keep my headphones in even though I'm not listening to anything and I just focus in on there. And that way you just have... you really have no reason for distractions. So yeah, definitely any place that people are just not gonna bother you. So see you guys. Look forward to the video tomorrow. Hopefully you have finished some words, preferably over 1600 or double that because this is the second day of NaNoWriMo.